I've seen some people take turns just to get out that I would consider risky myself. Big investment in DeSoto is sparking major changes along one of its main roads. The $4 billion Panasonic EV battery plant will eventually employ 4,000 people. This is Fox 4 News at 9. I'm Bria Love. And I'm John Holt. But there are already hundreds of construction workers on site every day building the plant. Fox 4's Kevin Barry saw the final draft of a new set of plans to make sure the Johnson County suburbs roads and streets are ready for what comes next. This roundabout outside the Panasonic electric vehicle battery plant is big enough to handle 18 wheelers and the massive machinery that's going to have to go in and out of the Astra Enterprise Park every day. But just a few miles to the north, closer to where more people in DeSoto live, the city's working on a massive plan on a main arterial road to add roundabouts, new lanes and traffic lights for when more traffic comes to town. It's right now chaotic because Elissa Stewart already sees more traffic near her house where 83rd Street becomes Lexington, leading workers to the Astra Enterprise Park and the Panasonic plant. She likes that more jobs are coming to town. It's just frustrating when you're trying to get out of an intersection just to make school drop off or pick up. So city planners are getting ready to turn the intersection by Alyssa's house into a roundabout while installing one more and a new traffic light along 83rd Street and Lexington. DeSoto City Administrator Mike Brungard says that's the alternate route to Astra Enterprise Park and the EV battery plant. So this is part of a much larger plan to handle the growing traffic expectations through 2050. So the study looked at those projections and saw basically a doubling of the of the traffic volumes. Along with some new intersections, the road will also become three lanes or a boulevard in rural or more populated parts of the four and a half mile stretch. It'll cost tens of millions of dollars to build, but Mike says it's the only way to handle the traffic increase that DeSoto is already seeing. The jobs that are generated by the construction activity will come later, but right now we're seeing the construction activity itself. That final draft plan that was presented to residents tonight is expected to go in front of the city council in July. This time next year, Panasonic says they'll be creating electric vehicle batteries in that plant. I'm Kevin Barry, Fox 4 News.